Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have new products from Hermes Beauty. They're blushes and lip enhancers. I finally caved in and purchased some Hermes Beauty products and I'm so excited to review them for you guys. Before I get into today's video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. All right, let's get into these products. So here they are. I have to say I was kind of bummed that they didn't send me the Hermes orange box, uh, but that's okay. So they did come out with eight different shades of blush as well as three different shades of lip enhancers. Now they are quite expensive. The blushes themselves are $77 a piece. $77, yeah. I did end up purchasing one blush and one lip enhancer. I was going back and forth between whether or not to purchase a lip enhancer. I just really couldn't justify the price for essentially a lip balm. But nonetheless, I do enjoy a lip enhancer type of lipsticks. I usually use them the most, so I just took the plunge and purchased one of them. So uh, let's go into the blush first. This one is a silky blush powder. I ended up purchasing shade 32 in Rose Pomatte. And this is the packaging itself. Uh, these packagings are just stunning. I mean, you definitely pay for the name itself, but the packaging really is beautiful. Comes in their orange box. And inside we have the blush itself. Uh, this is stunning packaging beautiful. Of course, we have the Hermes logo on there. I have to say there isn't much weight to this blush compact, so I thought that there would be more weight to it, just being how expensive it is. And here is the blush. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Now you do get six grams of product in here and it is refillable as well. So the way you refill it is there's a little tiny knob right over here and you just push out that blush and you can purchase any of their other shades as well. This is just one swipe of the blush. Beautiful shade. I just zoomed you guys in because I cannot wait to try this out. So we're just gonna go ahead and try this blush. The collection did come out with two different brushes, one full size and one little mini brush. The brushes are fairly expensive and they are made with real goat hair. And I have purchased Chanel brushes that usually were made with horse hair before. This was the first brush I ever purchased. So um, I was a teenager and I did save up to get this brush and I still have it, but I have to say with real brushes in comparison to synthetic brushes, they are quite coarse. So they aren't very soft like synthetic brushes are, not my favorite. And I just felt that the Hermes brushes will probably be that way. So I couldn't justify the price if I wasn't going to use them, but they are beautiful. I'm just going to use my Chanel tapered brush and this one essentially looks just like the Hermes one. And let's go ahead and dip in to this blush. This looks pretty pigmented, so let's just go ahead and take a little bit. I love the shade, it's beautiful. Mm, the scent to this is beautiful, it's really pretty. So if you don't like scented beauty products, this definitely won't be for you, but it does have a very nice floral scent. Now on a day-to-day -day basis, this is as much as I would apply for blush, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more to show you guys that color on camera. This is a gorgeous shade. I'm definitely glad I took the plunge and purchased this. This is so beautiful. I love that pop of color. The shade is perfect and I definitely don't regret it. Now, Hermes is known for their luxury leather products and they first began releasing lipsticks I think about a year ago and I never purchased any of their lipsticks. So I did purchase one of the lip enhancers that just came out with the blushes and I had to purchase one of their lipsticks. I have had my eyes on them for a while now and I just took the plunge this time with this order. I did purchase a satin lipstick. This one is a number 17, Satine? 
it's it's a beige shade but it looked very beautiful and i love their packaging each shade comes with kind of a tri color and it's just ah uh, so pretty okay let's open these I up think i'm going to start off with the lip enhancers they did come out with three shades one of them was an orange type of shade another one was a rosy pink shade and this one is a rose tan now i was going to choose the middle shade which was a pink shade however uh with the swatches online they didn't look very pigmented essentially it is a lip balm that enhances your lips so i thought i would just go ahead and go with the tan one this is the darkest one if you're paying this much for a lip enhancer i figured i did want some more color um, than what the medium and the lighter shade would have and it comes in the beautiful hermes packaging i'm so obsessed with the packaging opens up like so each of their lipsticks comes packaged with a beautiful case as well. Here it is. Oh, it is so beautiful. I love the packaging to these. All of their lip enhancers come in packaging like so with a pink and a gold kind of brassy type of color right in the middle. And this one definitely has some weight to it unlike the blush so I'm really surprised about that. Of course we have the famous Hermes logo. See, it looks quite dark in the pot but it is a lip balm so. Now this lipstick does work with the pH of your skin and does kind of give you your own lipstick shade essentially. So if you purchase this shade, it might not look the same as it looks like on me. I definitely am glad I got the tan shade. It's so beautiful, really pretty. Now it's not sticky, has a very soft, delightful fragrance to it and really moisturizing. Now let's try their satin lipsticks. And this one again is in number 17, which is a beige shade. I mean, look at this packaging. Is it gorgeous or what? Again, we have the Hermes logo on top. And this is the lipstick shade. So just a beautiful beige new type of color. Very beautiful. The formula to these is gorgeous. It's so satiny and silky. Ooh, very pretty. I actually really want to try the matte ones as well. Have you guys tried the matte lipstick formula in Hermes? Let me know what you think about them. So those are the new releases from Hermes Beauty. I absolutely love them. I think I have a new obsession. I love this blush. It is gorgeous. It leaves such a beautiful flush of color to your cheeks. It's not patchy at all. Also the lip enhancers, I definitely do not regret purchasing them. I know I went back and forth just because of the price and the fact that it is a lip balm, but honestly, I felt that it definitely looked like a regular lipstick on my lips. I definitely will be reviewing more Hermes Beauty products in the future, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you are thinking about this collection, I hope it made it easier for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.